five ingredients, chicken and rosemary and orange dinner. We browned our dredged chicken thighs on both sides. Then you take one large orange, slice it, and caramelize the sugars in it on both sides in the drippings from the orange. Then we're going to take a little bit more olive oil in the middle of the pan, and we're going to add a ton, a big fat handful of coarsely chopped rosemary. And we're going to add lots of grated or chopped garlic, three or four fat cloves. It smells so good. And then we're going to take, ooh, I missed a little rosemary here. Come on, baby. Join the party, rosemary. Uh, then we're gonna take the juice of another orange, add that to the skillet. And then we're going to add a couple of fat tablespoons of balsamic. And oh, about three quarters of a cup to a cup of chicken stock. Then we're going to lift up any drippings and sugars from the bottom of the pan by giving it a little stir. Oh, that smells so good. <laughs> Crazy. And then you're going to slide your chicken and oranges right back into the hot tub and let them finish gently cooking through. And then you can take this right to the table and serve right from the pan. It's just beautiful and couldn't be easier. And you, don't forget, have a pretty big ta-da at the end. We're going to add our crispy prosciutto or you could substitute crispy kale. Delicious. I know! <laughs> So I'm going to let this hang out, little loose foil tent. It's kind of like a quick braise. I'm gonna let that just gently finish cooking through. This is crispy prosciutto. Over the break, we actually set the prosciutto I put into the oven on fire. <laughs> so you might wanna set a timer. It only takes a couple of minutes and like a 400, 425 oven. You put your prosciutto or speck, this is smoked prosciutto or speck. You put that in the oven on parchment paper. That'll really catch a fire. Um, <laughs> or more safe, um, probably a wire metal rack. Anyway, this stuff is great to top salads with. It's so brittle and delicious. Uh, paleo people, people that eat paleo diets, eat this like potato chips while they're watching TV. It is wildly delicious. And as I said, you need to make extra because you're just gonna stand there and just keep <laughs> eating it and eating it. Now, okay, back to the chicken. Um, our chicken has been under a loose foil tent. The sauce has gotten beautiful and thick and syrupy. And we're gonna take two boneless, skinless thighs, pile them up on our dinner plate. If your sauce gets a little too thick, you can always add an extra splash of chicken stock. Oops. I'm gonna tilt the pan. You can take this right to the table like this and serve. I want a little more stock. Hey guys, bring me more stock. Okay. Be right with you. <laughs> well, I was just saying it. I'm like, I should do that myself because it got so thick. Thanks, Kate. Thanks. Kate, there you go. <laughs> do you guys have any idea what a drag it is when I go home to cook and no, no magic people come? <laughs> Like when I can't find something, no one laughs at anything I say. I'm in there alone, John's up in his music studio, playing away, and I'm down there killing it, telling jokes to my vegetables and chicken. Yeah, nothing, it's like crickets. Okay, so then we take our crispy prosciutto. <laughs> what?